Now, on this video, I would like to talk about kids, babies. Your couple year olds to your four, five, six year olds. We're going to go through it all. The gist of kids. Why they do it and don'ts. Blog, basically. Now, this is one of them why they do it. You're shopping at the grocery store. Your baby's sitting in the shopping cart. You turn around, cheap. Gumming up the goddamn handle on the grocery cart. Why'd you do it? Don't hit the baby, bitch. Hit yourself. Because you over here bundling up fucking sweet potatoes and shit. And corn husks. It ain't the baby fault they want some titty milk or something to eat, bitch. I'm going to need you to hit yourself next time you try to hit the baby. Another one of why did it happen type of bullshit. You sitting here with all your kids walking around and all of a sudden a whole bunch of your kids just kind of run away from you. They go to the aisle come back. Well, where's little Miranda at? Well, bitch, Miranda is eight years old. How the fuck is your two-year-old going to know where Miranda is at, bitch? I'm going to need you to get a hand on your kids and pay more attention to that than the motherfucking nutty bars on aisle two. Let's get it together as people. Let's get it together. Let's get it the fuck together. So then here goes another one. Well, basically, with the children again. But you blame this one on the baby. This just ain't got nothing to do with the baby. You coming through the line with your EBT card, knowing what you had on here. You got the hug juices, you got your Kool-Aid, your cereals, your favorite meats, and of course the baby's cake on the wick card, or on the uh, food stamp card. Now you get to the line, you can't cover it. But the baby can't get that cake. Whose fault is that, bitch? You been buying motherfucking pixie sticks and now and laters and gum and, and mama dill and papa dill pickles all month and shit. And now it's the baby's fault they can't get a goddamn cake. You must be out your goddamn mind. I'm going to need y'all to get it together. I'm going to need y'all to get it together. And since we're talking about it, the children's situations and all that, I'm going to just have to throw this one out because this one really irritates me. This goes out to all the baby mamas. The ratchet ones. Not the ones doing everything they should be doing. Y'all getting y'all goddamn SSI checks for y'all babies. God bless these children that can't do without, they can't do for themselves. So y'all go about getting the child support and the damn SSI check. How the fuck do you hoes and you bitches look better than the damn baby? My baby hair fucking look like it's fucking got melted margarine, fucking eye boogers and three of his eyes. He ain't got but two. Fucking lint in his belly button, shit in his diaper, and he, he out here wearing Crocs and shit that the handles broke off of. The straps and shit. But I could have sworn, bitch, you got the new wet and wavy Remy, bitch. A hundred and some a pack. Nails motherfucking done. Charms hanging off and all. The newest popping lip gloss. Mood changing on your lips and shit. Brand new shoes. Brand new this and that. I'm gonna need y'all to get together. Now I'm just saying. I'm going to need y'all to get it together and understand what this money's going towards. Kids. They can be a motherfucker, but it's a learning experience. you got to watch out for them. I love the kids. I love the kids, but don't fuck with them. Don't fuck with them if they don't need to be fucked with. Because they're going to do some type shit. They're going to wake you up at an early ass time and fuck with you. Not no motherfuckers like they bitches like they sleep. So I'm going to need y'all to get it together. Another look, uh, kid situation would probably be you tired as hell, got to go to work. You trying to get some milk in this damn boy bowl of cereal. It's seven in the goddamn morning on a weekend. He wastes the goddamn milk all in his damn sleeper, all in his damn blanket, everything. Well, what do you do, bitch? You take the blanket and throw it off the damn flow, and he cold as hell. That motherfucker gets sour and hard two, three days later in the summer-ass heat. 
And you, you holler at him, whacking his motherfucking ass with rulers and every goddamn thing else you can see. I'm going to need you to get it together. That is a baby. And yes, he did it, but bitch, you got to be the bigger bitch or the bigger woman and put that shit in the washer or dryer. Because that is nasty. It's milk. It's milk. These are our babies. We got to teach them. But it's milk. It's, it can get cleaned up and washed if you don't leave it to fucking dry up like fucking Sierra Desert. Another one of the, of the crazy things kids will fucking do. They'll fucking have that gum. You'll forget you gave them that shit. Little do you know they have it in your goddamn daughter hair knotted up, stuck from her nose to the fucking wall to underneath your computer chair to fucking underneath the mailbox in between the door. These motherfuckers stepping just gum all on their feet, just gliding on the damn carpet with this shit. You go to do the damn washing shit. They got chunks of gum stuck in their pocket. It melted in the dryer. Yeah, not all kids are ready for shit like that all the time. So you just got to watch it. I got to talk about my kids because, you know, I, I fucks with the kids and shit. I've been doing child care and watching over kids as long as I can tell. As crazy as I am, but I'm all right with these kids because we think alike. We're both a little, little off and crazy, but. Yeah, this one I just really wanted to talk about kids and children and and the shit that really goes on that's real reality. And I'm going to need y'all baby mamas to, to get a little stronger. And baby daddies, if you ain't been in their life and been there, I'm going to need y'all to step up if you can. Put these streets to rest. But uh, shit, let me know. Comment on my shit. Let me know what I should do. What other videos, if you like what you're hearing. And I'm out.